Hi friends, welcome back to my channel with me, Ria. Today I'm going to teach you how to play For Youth by BTS. Now this song is pretty much simple in the beginning, but later during the last chorus, that's where the tricky part comes in. So we might need extra patience and determination, okay? But I believe we can all do this, okay? Stay with me, okay? Let's get to the chords. Feel free to skip ahead if you already know these four chords. First chord is C, take our tiny finger, place it on the 3rd fret, 1st string. Next, we're going to play E7, index finger, place it on the 1st fret, 4th string, middle finger on the 2nd fret, 3rd string, and our ring finger on the 2nd fret too, but on the 1st string. And then we're going to play F chord, index finger, place it on the 1st fret, 2nd string, middle finger on the 2nd fret, 4th string. Next, we're going to play G chord, middle finger, place it on the 2nd fret, 1st string, index finger, 2nd fret, 3rd string, and our ring finger on the 3rd fret, 2nd string. Yeah! To sound like the original song, we need to put a capo and place it on the 2nd fret, like this. And just play along with the chords. But like any of my other tutorials, I don't use capo, so just remove it for now, okay? The song starts with... Forever. We are, yeah. <laughs> I think they're really sweet to put ARMY's voice in the beginning of their song. And before I start, I have one question. I'm sure some of you guys have ever watched BTS concerts. So my question is, do you guys have any tips on how to get BTS ticket concert before they sold out? Like I know they're focusing on their solo works right now and all. But once they are able to do another concert, I would love to get at least one ticket so that I can watch it. So yeah, I'm ready for war. So can you guys please give me any suggestions and tips to get the ticket? Please drop some in the comments if you know. <laughs> Thank you in advance. In the intro, we're going to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, like that so we strum twice and then we block the string quickly to stop the strings from ringing and then if you notice we need to strum a little bit louder during the first and fourth beat so it's like this one two three four five six yeah something like that we can actually just adjust it but i think it sounds nicer if we put it that way because it can create more dynamics on the song let's go with the lyrics slowly okay one two three if I never met you, I'll never Baby, ooh, ooh, ooh. every time I miss you, so funny to put in come on. And then the first, okay? We're going to strum a little bit different now, but pretty much the same thing. It's like this now. Down, 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 down and block, yeah? And then we change. Down, 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 down and block. So we're going to strum and then block quickly. We can block the strings using this side of our palms. It might take some time for us to get used to, but once we can, it's going to be so fun. So hang in there, okay? Let's start playing the first using the lyrics now. It's the same like the intro, although the last G chord, we're just going to strum once. If I never met you, I'm not Baby, every 
time I miss you, miss you So what I need to report in Come on You're my best friend for the rest of my life Dun 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 Hannah the set, yeah During J-Hope and Suga's part We're pretty much still going to do this like the previous verse, however, during these parts, there will be some parts that are different. But I think we can play along directly, so come, come. Hanato said, Uri ha, eh, ije mo te, moren sungan, eh, ho ne, go na, tiki jutsu tower, tapun in a doubt, now we reach a noy kumusa hana, kigan on man and go ya, kren on my tongue. Come on, boy, I tell me to love. Sabangi, come, 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 a bit different there, we need to do this just now. Strum and block, strum and block twice. So quicklier and quicklier, sorry for my grammar. More quickly. Then a little bit different during Jane's part. Daydreaming but us facing. Really don't wanna say it. But if I never met you, I'm not on the most appeal. Starting from this point, are you ready? Because we have a new set of chords. Feel free to skip ahead if you already know these tricky chords. I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking, ah, oh, it's almost the end of the song, but then we have another nine chords. I think I'm just going to stop until you're the best friend for the rest of my life. And then that's it. I'm not going to learn the key change. Well, yeah, yeah, sure, you can do that. <laughs> but since this is a tutorial, I'm gonna teach you anyway, so feel free to continue. But if you wanna stop, sure, it's okay too. Well done anyway. But if you continue, that's even better. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start teaching you how to play the chords now, okay? So we're going to play A sharp minor. Index finger, close everything on the first fret, just like that. Mm -hmm. To play G sharp, take our index finger, close everything on the third fret. Middle finger, place it on the fourth fret, second string. And then our ring finger on the fifth fret, fourth string. And then we're going to play C sharp. Move our index finger to the first fret, close everything, okay? And then our pinky on the fourth fret, first string. You're doing good, man, yeah. Next, we're going to play F7. Index finger, place it on the first fret, second string. Middle finger on the second fret, fourth string. Ring finger on the third fret, third string. And our pinky on the third fret, first string tricky but it sounds nice though next we're going to play g sharp a minor <laughs> index finger close everything on the first fret and then take our middle finger place it on the second fret first string ring finger third fret on the third string and then our pinky on the fourth fret second string you might need to stretch a bit of your fingers for this chord mm -hmm. and then let go of our ring and pinky leaving these two fingers to play C sharp 7, which is the next chord. And then we're going to play F minor. Index finger, place it on the 1st fret, 4th string. Middle finger, 1st fret, 2nd string. Our pinky on the 3rd fret, 1st string. And then F sharp. Index finger again, close the 1st bar again. The 1st fret, I'm sorry. And then middle finger on the 2nd fret, 2nd string. And then our ring finger on the 3rd fret, 4th string. And then D sharp minor, the last chord for this song. This is F sharp, right? To play D sharp minor, just put our pinky below our ring finger. That's it. Well done, bud. Well done. We might need to spend some time to practice the chord progression because it's tricky. It has a lot of bar chords and all, so it's okay. Remember to rest and keep practicing, okay? You're my best friend for the rest of my life.
들기 싫던 그때 더 많이 해주고 그만 I'll be with you for the rest of my How are your fingers doing? Mm. That last chorus is really... <laughs> anyway, I hope this tutorial can be helpful and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please support me by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am so grateful if you do so. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you soon. Remember to DM me on IG if you want the lyrics and chord sheets, okay? Bye! <laughs>